Well, guys, how's it going? Uh, I come down here on the other farm here where I sold sorghum to Dan, and first time I've seen it since I sold it in. So it's really doing good. <laughs> Chest high. There's some low spots, but mainly at all is, I mean, right there is, I walk into there, it's up to my shoulders, so. He's looking good. Get some, a few loads of feed off here. I ain't gonna cut it for a while yet, though. I just kinda wanted to uh, see what it looked like myself. So. Yeah. Real nice. Hey, well, I might cut any over here, so. It's, uh, it's not so bad. The hay is. It's, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I better keep that cutting. We need to get some down here today. So. Bag something else. Chopping what I cut down uh, yesterday. I didn't cut a lot down. I cut it's three strips. So strips ain't very big. This is a six acre one I'm on right now. Uh, there's an acre down there. There's a four behind us. And there's a quarter of an acre. This little patch that kind of joins with this. Yeah. So, we got rain last night, we got uh, two tents. So it's quite a bit later in the afternoon here. It's, we did, you know, it was fresh cut yesterday. And so I really didn't have any time to dry till, sell, till, well the sun didn't come out till about, oh, it's been noon or so. So she's uh, just fine for chopping right now. So. We'll probably see if we can get the strips are done here. What I got down, and that'll probably be it for today. And tomorrow, I'll probably get back over here and start cutting. And so, I didn't want to start cutting either, it's, uh, it's pretty greasy underneath. So, these hills ain't fun to be greasy on. So, sliding around. So. Here we go, we got a tire of the raking. So, me and him will work on this here, get this done, and bring back something else, I guess. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, got some hay I'm gonna get from a friend of mine. Um, he cut it down what, four days ago now. Yeah, and we've gotten two rains since then. <clears throat> he uh, laid it all out, figuring he was gonna bail it, and well, the weather forecast is not cooperating whatsoever with it, so <clears throat> it's got that. Special kind of smell to it since it keeps getting rained on. <laughs> There's quite a bit over here. Uh, this back side, this line here, represent the back half of the farm. And uh, it strips all the way back, all the way back to that line fence there. But uh, yeah, I don't see how much I get done here today. I gotta move the chopper and rake from the other farm over to here. 
which is only a mile from where I, the chopper's sitting, but I gotta go three miles around just to get to here, so. Yeah, juggling things around and weather forecast is rain for the next two days after today, so, and a chance rain on the weekend too, so. I don't know what's gonna happen with this. It's more likely gonna all turn into crummy lum, uh, young stock feed, so I don't, I ain't got enough time to, uh, myself to put up 30, 30 acres today, so it is what it is. It's gonna be what it's gonna be, I guess. So, all right, well, I better get at it and get as much as I can get done. Well, we're uh, leaving the Jackson farm and making our way over to the other farm that my uh, friend there is running. They're just driving the 43 with the rake. I just had a little bit left to chop over here, so I chop that up. And I uh, ain't gonna cut anymore until weather changes, so. Yeah, so we'll make our uh, road trip, which is just like right across the valley to the other side, but we gotta go all the way around to get there. <laughs> Ah, it is what it is, so we'll see what we get. I got uh, maybe four low wagons. I got empty sitting over there, so we'll get a little bit of that 30 acres chopped up. Yeah, maybe we'll get lucky and it won't rain and and uh, I can finish that up, but you know, you're always kind of hindsight 2020. Damn, you do, damn, you do. We cut a bunch of hay down. And, we need rain, but we also need to get the hay put up, so. Huh. It is what it is. All right, well, if I bring it back, we get over there. Well, you need to over your chop. You got Tyler, he's raking, but he's not raking. He's just raking one strip, and then he's waiting. I told him, don't get too far ahead of me, because... She's clouding up ready to the west of us, so I don't want a bunch of it raked together. And it seems like it, uh, if it's raked together, it's, it, I don't know, the hay even gets worse, so it's, uh, yeah, it's sitting over there. before I've never uh, ran it but my friend of mine rented it a few times and this year it was kind of a one-year deal and uh, he's made enough hay now and he said well if he I said I'd be interested in some and he cut this down and, uh, I didn't know he was gonna cut it <laughs> but it is what it is it'll be what it'll be we'll get Get what we get up here today, and maybe the uh, rain will go around us or whatever. And, yeah, I, I know if it wouldn't rain tomorrow, uh, this got a lot of grass in it. This hay here would uh, be dang get it bailed tomorrow, but I don't. It's 70% chance of rain tomorrow, so pretty sure it's gonna. It is what it is, so. But, we gotta get this done, or at least get the wagons filled, and then it's, I gotta get home for chores time, so. Spend all days chasing your tail here. What do you do? It's got some odds and ends here, and I gotta pick up. Little pieces like that. Make sure you get it all. So yeah, that's that. It's kind of a... Well, we got the wagons all filled. We got 
one, two, three, four, five strips chopped and four wagons. So there's behind us where Tyler's coming from. Cloud of smoke. <laughs> there's five more strips back there. So figuring it'll be. That's a little heavier, some of that stuff back there, so probably six loads. Let's see once what the weather does here, but it's late. I gotta get home and get in chores, so. Alright. Enough time in the day. <laughs> I got down with chore before midnight. Uh, I'd head back over and do some chopping. So here we go. together um, Johnson's hay vines a uh, 12 footer so mine's I, I call 14 mine mine rakes 14 nice and 12 row not so nice so they do 12 uh, 12 foot cut you gotta do three rows which is fine with me because you get more in the chopper but for three rows you gotta do two passes when you're raking so so that's what it took me a little bit longer to do but yeah so I'm gonna chop and it's uh only after one o'clock now so. I got four wagons to fill. Uh, two of them are not mine. Two of them are uh, a friend of mine. That's this is his he gallon that he rents, and he's got two chopper boxes. So he brought his two empty wagons over to help me out get a little farther here tonight. So he's a heck of a good guy. So appreciate it very much for doing that. And then he also. Uh, Bring one of mine over that I got emptied for feeding, and um, so all in all, grand total, I got four wagons over here. So yeah, this here just a waterway, there's soybeans on each side. And there's all kinds of nooks and crannies over here. It's, it's one of those farms. <laughs> it's kind of a headache, but I can't turn down feed here like it is. So. The dew is just unbelievably heavy tonight, so I don't know if Mother Nature is lying to me or <clears throat> the weatherman is. So usually we have a dew this this heavy, it ain't gonna rain, but I don't know. But 
doesn't really matter, it is what it is. Another uh, rain tomorrow? It's... No, it's not tomorrow anymore. <laughs> it's a day. <clears throat> Let's get a little more done for the day, I guess. So. I guess. So, yeah. Well, I guess I bring it back, but. Jabbering around here long enough and. Waste enough of everybody's time and. This wagon's full. That's not so bad. No. Oh. Oh yeah, see the top of the wagon? It's clean. <laughs> Cause it's not my wagon. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I don't like feet on top of the roofs either, but a guy can only do so much in a day. Come on guys, give me a little credit here. Those a few of you give me a hard time about that. I don't like it either, but. All right, well, I'll bring it back when I get the wagons full, I guess, so. Ah, good old red eye midnight runs. Gotta love them. It's one thing I really dislike about this farm. This here is a crick bed. Yeah, that's a dry year, so it's dry. But. steep it's rocky and it's hard on my equipment <laughs> but we all have those fields so I as long as I take it easy but don't break anything I got uh, it's three strips or three windrows left on this strip. Not the full strip, the whole half strip. Huh. <coughs> All right, and then there's a uh, field. Actually, there's two of them strips field. Well, there's actually a strip. And then there's a field behind that strip that's left. So I'm figuring uh they tell you part ain't too loud here. Five loads left on this field, so or on this farm. <laughs> uh, it's late. I'm tired, it's uh, about 2.30 in the morning, so. Yeah. That one's full. So I filled all four wagons. I was hoping I could get what I raked chopped, but. It is what it is, so. I'm tired. I'm calling her good, so you can see right here, there's the wind roll there. Uh, the field driveway runs through the middle of the strip. It's kind of where the waterway is. So for any, for any, any uh, can't talk anymore. <laughs> there's three, about two and a half strips left. Wind rolls that I raked, they're left here, so. Yeah, I'm calling this a video. Give you guys something to watch. Uh, I know I've not been putting out videos like I used to do. I'm just trying to get 
stuff done. So I only can do so much. Uh, I'll give you what I can. And that's how it's gonna be. So yeah. All right. Well, guys, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I really appreciate comments. Get a kick out of them. All you guys are, you know, I like them. So, keep up the comments, uh, thumbs up, thumbs downs. They all mean the same. I really don't care. <laughs> I'm just showing you guys what I do, so it is what it is. You don't like it? You watch somebody else. I really don't care. So I didn't uh, start this to uh, make everybody think. Yeah, thanks for watching. And, uh, I'm cannonballing her home. So catch you on the next one. See ya. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all you guys that do. Uh, do what you do. See you on the next one.